Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. What is the greatest prime number between 1 and 10? So what are the numbers that we have between 1 to 10? So these are the numbers between 1 to 10. Now which is the smallest prime number? 1 is not a prime number. So 2 is the prime number. Next 3 is a prime number. 4 is a composite number. 5 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. And then you have composite numbers. So which is a greatest prime number? So the greatest prime number is 7. Question number 5. Express the following as the sum of two odd primes. So let us say you are given a number 24. Now you have to write 24 as sum of two odd numbers which are also prime numbers. So basically two odd prime numbers. Now what are the various possibilities of writing 24 as a sum of two numbers? What are the different ways by which you can write 24? 20 plus 4, 22 plus 2, 18 plus 6. These are some random possibilities of writing 24. Now we want to write it as sum of two odd primes. Now two odd primes, so what you do since 18 plus 6 is 24, if you increase 18 by 1, that it becomes 19. Now since you are increasing 18 by 1, you will have to decrease 6 by 1, so it becomes 5. Now 19 and 5, both of these are odd prime numbers. So this is one answer. Similarly, you can also say 22 plus 2. Both of these are even numbers. Now if you increase 22 by 1, it becomes 23, which is a prime number and also an odd number. Now since you are increasing 22, you will have to decrease 2. That means it has to become 23 plus 1. But 1 is not a prime number. Therefore, 23 plus 1 would not be your answer. Let us look at some other combination. Let's say in 18 plus 7, we reduce 18 by 1. So it becomes 17 which is a prime number. Now since we have reduced 18, so we will have to increase 6 by 1. So it becomes 7. So 17 plus 7. That is also a sum of two odd primes. So these are certain ways by in which we can write 24. So 24 can be written as 19 plus 5. It can also be written as 17 plus 7. Question number 6. Express each of the following numbers as sum of three odd primes. So the number that is given to us is 61. Now, very commonly, how can you write 61 as sum of three numbers? We can write it as 20 plus 40, which is 60 plus 1. But we have to write it as sum of odd primes. Now, let's reduce 20 by 1. It becomes 19, which is an odd prime. Now, the moment you reduce this, you if you want, you can increase this. If you want, you can reduce this and then compensate in the last number. So, let's say we reduce 40 by 1 and make it 39 because 39 is also odd prime. So we have reduced 1 from 20, we have reduced 1 from 40. Basically we have reduced 2. So we will have to increase this number 1 by 2. So 1 increased by 2 becomes 3. 3 is also an odd prime. So 19 plus 39 plus 3 is the sum in which 61 can be expressed. Question number 7. Fill in the blanks. A number which has only two factors is called a prime number because prime number has only two factors, one and itself. A number which has more than two factors is called a composite number. One is neither prime nor composite. So the smallest prime number is 2. The smallest prime number is 2. The smallest composite number is 4. That's because 1 is neither prime nor composite. 2 is a prime number. 3 is also a prime number. 
and 4 is a composite number. So 4 is the smallest composite number. The smallest even number is 2 because 1 is neither even nor odd. So 2 is even number because it is divisible by 2. Therefore, it is the smallest even number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.